we have a thing with proxy tempest where you it doesn't you, you can't blame yourself you have to blame the the sound guy you know this other sound guy that we that we hired the the, the sound guy that no one knows about yeah that's right we blame uh, we blame shaft he's not here <laughs> 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 so these guys have the yeah. same skin, so this is way less confusing this time. They really are going for the exact same build. You know, this is funny, like, in, in TBT, like, back in Heart of the Swarm, people would legitimately, in pro games, or even, I don't know, maybe even normal games, like, just go for the same gas first, one-on-one, -on -one, every single time. Nowadays, I feel like it kind of diverged a lot, but it seems like in PvT, uh, from, like, the limited amount of games that I've seen, like, people really do have a pretty small amount of like early game openers. I guess it's just that crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but Nikro is doing something a little different. He's getting adepts instead of Stalker. So he's gonna try and be aggressive with that with that. And if uh Kratos not is out of position, he starts to lose a <laughs> dro I mean probes very quickly to those adepts, but he's got his two stalkers out. And they're gonna look if there's any probes hiding. But if they are out of position, these adepts do a lot of damage, but there is a mothership quiet, so you can overcharge a pylon, but it's still they one shot probes with well, two, with both of them shooting. They he's got his stalkers one shot. out on the map again. Maybe he's scouting for proxies, so he doesn't doesn't have too many stalkers back home. That two. Ooh, what an overcharge. I think that's gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't have let that finish. He definitely should not. That was that was bad. I don't think he even got one probe that. No. Yeah, that's crazy. I think he got maybe one. The, maybe the one that was building the pylon. I'm not sure. One probe has gone down somehow. Yeah, I think it was probably in the front. That that was a crazy finish. He should never have let that that shade finish. Does a stalker beat an adept one on one? Yeah, yeah, easy. Uh, stalkers do so much damage to adepts, and adepts literally just tickles them. Ah. Stalker battle oh, coming in here. First shots though for Nicro, so. I think he's got Mitch? Can't tell. Ooh, nice. Sniping oh. that second one. This gets pretty bad though for, for Nicro if he doesn't get some stalkers out pretty soon. He does have the overcharge. But he's, these stalkers are so low, but he has to disengage because of the overcharge. Because it's not going to be as bad as I thought it was. But if he starts losing the stalker bell, even this early. Oh, but he is got a. Praetor does have a, a proxy out on the map, and he's just going to keep warping his stalkers. And he's got that stalker advantage. And he's going to have it for quite a while. But there is a robo out for Nightcrow, and if he gets an immortal, this proxy will get shut down very, very quickly. But with the sentries, you can get also some really good force fields on those stalkers. I think it's all up to Nikra to hold this, and I think he does have the tools to hold it at this point. Second overcharge. I think he even has energy for one more overcharge, yeah, so I don't I don't see this cracking through quite yet. But it's not like he's going super all in behind this either. Yeah. I guess he has a little bit of a delayed uh, Nexus. Not so bad though. Yeah, it's only four probes isn't that bad. It really is that's that's not a bad uh position to be in at all and he was just trying to be a little bit aggressive you know he was if he, if, if he did catch Daiko off guard and Mothership Core didn't have enough energy it could have gone pretty bad he could have lost his Nexus or even lost a few probes but he's just gonna go home um, and just macro up himself he's gonna get blink both players are gonna get blink Immortal production started for Nico. same thing for for Praetor so we're just gonna get very mirror back to very mirror bulls and it just comes down to the players macro here and see who gets more units out. I think things are calming down uh, for the meantime. Both players yeah. just churning out uh, immortals, so no one gonna be putting out pressure with the war prisms just yet. We might have ourselves a little bit of a macro game here. Oh my my. Now, why is it that the <laughs> that the Protoss uh, trophy has a mutilisk on it? Does this mean that he won like a tournament as Zerg, or is Blizzard no. the best? No, the last I mean last season was a carrier. It's just it's just general. If you win as Terran Rose, will be a mutilus. Oh, okay. Well, that mutilus is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just the different uh, trophy types that they have. I've never got the point of playing in those tournaments. I never play in those tournaments. I just think it's so much just better to ladder. Yeah, I think I've I've done it a few times. I don't know if I ever won a trophy, but both of these players have pretty sick mutilus trophies. So. 
Good yeah, I guess it's worth thing. it for those trophies. It's worth it for those trophies. <laughs> they are pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, pretty looks like a fairly quick third base coming up here. Yeah, that is pretty quick. That is pretty quick. Um, I think Pratt does need to know that this is happening. He needs to to at least sniff it out because you get you get super far behind if you don't take your your third nexus because that then your, the probe count uh, probe production just ramps up super super quickly. But Daiko's got a pretty nice probe uh, lead. Been macroing a little bit better. And he's even up an army supply. Prates is actually quite far behind, but he does have charge uh, almost finished. And I think he's just going to warp in some zealots and some stalkers and with immortals with his warprism and just try and kill Nyko. And it definitely could work. Charge is super strong. Yeah, he's especially got like a million stalkers. <laughs> I don't know how many. Maybe not a million. Uh, but a, a thousand, maybe. Yeah, a thousand about. Looks like seven so <laughs> far. And. Make, oh no, that's that's Nicro making a few more. So it's definitely going to be up to Nicro to hold off this aggression here. He's got some immortals. Man, they're so hard to see with this skin uh, mixed in among the yeah. stalkers. <laughs> oh, I, I think this is actually quite bad for, for Nicro because uh, the charge is just really strong. If so you can get on top of these stalkers, they, they just wreck them really quickly. He does have blink, so maybe with some fancy blink micro here you can get some... Uh, avoid some of the damage from the Zedits and charge is on the way for him himself and he's got plus one about to finish which might actually be pretty crucial but I think Predator needs to end the game with this push or at least do significant damage. It's good Sim City here forcing uh, forcing yeah. these Zealots into a choke where all this range units can attack. He's ignoring the third base I don't even know if he knows about it but I think with this kind of attack you want a little bit more than a third base. Yeah because he stopped pro production for quite a while uh, and He's so far behind in probe, the probe count. I mean, 10, in, 10 probes in a mirror matchup. It's oh, pretty bad. Beautiful but... force field. Just cutting off like half of the zealots and all the stalkers behind them. And uh... Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. I was going to say, plus one's done now for for Nycro. And I, if I believe there's no upgrades for Praetor, so his army is just better at, the, at this point, especially with the fact that he's got charge now as well. His zealots is going to do so much better. Oh, good force fields again. I think it's getting to a stage where he can start just really taking down this army and get this war prism down. He does need to be a little bit careful, but his army is just to so much better, and he's got a massive army supply lead now. It goes to the blink, starts getting these immortals. Oh, once these immortals go down, I think it's just tickets for Praetor, and I think Diagra is just going to take this game. Yeah, some minor pressure going on in that base. Oh, snipes the war prism. That has got to be the end of this attack. Maybe the game. We'll yeah. See if Praetor can maybe rally behind this. I mean, they're on similar worker counts, but definitely a pretty solid econ lead. I, I guess, like, look at the, look at the super you know? so, Yeah, that <laughs> soup never lies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think what Praetor maybe was saying in the game because he or actually almost got this third base and it was pretty quick, close to going down. But he's getting third base of his own. But nyko has got that plus one. He's got a huge tech advantage with the Templar archives as well to warp in. Immortals. I mean, Archons, which just do tank so well for the Zealots that Praetor has. Uh, I think this attack's just gonna, he's just going to walk across the map and win the game. Yeah, I feel that way. I don't think he has a War Prism, and nor does he have like, any reinforcing pylons over here. But I'm not sure he really needs them at this point. Uh, the ar oh, yeah, Army Supply is 64 to 16, so. Might be fine. <laughs> oh, some, some Zealots coming in here. Trying to defend the last bit of their home, but I think the aggressive blinks coming out from Nitro. You're seeing the death throws here. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't even have to worry about these overcharges. He can fight under it. GG. Nitro takes game three. And Owen and Risen go up 2 1. Heck yeah, we're turning, turning it around here. I like it. Now, was Nitro the one that was a little. Um, a little bit lower in MMR, or was that was that Praetor? No, that yeah, was Praetor. Yeah, oh, that dang. was Praetor. I thought for a minute there we had like a pretty awesome upset, but I, he did well. I like, I really like the idea behind that attack, but I'm not sure when Nycro started those uh, started those gateways at his natural. Um, 
But man, they synergized so well with those force fields because then they only needed like two force fields to uh, completely wall that off. And just waiting for the zealots to charge in and then force fielding, you know, like 10 zealots out of the whole rest of the army and just eating them down. Really, really nicely played. Yeah, I think he needed to end the game as like 30 seconds after he started that push because of the charge and the plus one that Nike had. And as you said, the, he, with those force fields, he could just slowly but surely get that zeta down countdown so 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 low <laughs> to the point where you can just blink at, at, on top of the army and just crush it but yeah that was really really well done from nicro <laughs> syx has got some nicrophilia right now <laughs> <laughs> touché, touché. <laughs> ah, daunted <laughs> <laughs> all right well we're gonna toss it over to felipe who will uh give you some more great info on Crave and everybody else who helps us out. So Felipe, take it away. Thank you so much. We've been having some awesome games here so far. I've already talked about Maturino. I've already talked about our Patreon. And I do want to talk a little bit more about Crave Jerky. They are an amazing sponsor. Like I said, they sent us a bunch of free jerky. And we decided to share that with all of you. Anyone who donates $10 or more on our Patreon can get a bag. It comes in some amazing flavors, chili lime, uh, black cherry, barbecue. There's some amazing and different flavors that you don't really see in much other jerky, which makes it really awesome. And you can also help show your love to them for supporting StarCraft and eSports by tweeting at them with the hashtag JerkyLife and hashtag CraveBetter. So go to Twitter and type out a tweet to Crave Jerky while we are on this commercial break. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.